Hi everybody, my name is Jen Bulka, memory specialist from MyMemoryPal.com. This is my second coaching uh, YouTube session and so you get these in order because they really are sequential. You want to be sure to pay attention to what number coaching session this is. So the previous one was the intro and number one. This is coaching session number two and we are still on behavioral sciences and kind of setting up the goal-directed behavior for your success. So I'm not very good with the graphics yet, but I am gonna get better with it. So uh, today I'm gonna kind of pile through uh, 10 steps to developing your goal for my MyMemoryPal.com curriculum. And then next time, I hope to have some video layover, some text layover cards, or whatever you call them, so that it will help you to organize your program better. Everybody should have their composition book or something that they're going to write in. I always put the date on the upper right-hand corner. I always write on the right-hand side of the page, and I leave the left side of the page for uh, extra notes, doodling, pictures, whatever. Okay, let's get started. We're going to be setting up our goals yet again, and I'd like to go through the 10 steps, and I will come back and um, go through them explicitly. So just hang out for a moment, but here's the overview. Number one, self-directed goal. Write the goal. Self-directed goal and vision. Number two, define success. Step number three, Explicit instructions. What are the steps? A, B, C, etc. Step four, frequency and time. Commitment and schedule, this falls under. When am I going to do it? That's the time and the day. How long am I going to do the exercises for? And giving yourself padding for well, I forgot to do it today, so I'm going to have to make it up before the week's over. Number five, when I do this, I will feel. This is the affirmation piece, which is actually really important. I know a lot of people poo-poo that kind of stuff, but it really works according to behavioral sciences. Number six, how'd I do? Reflection and measurement. Number seven, what could I do better next time? Reflection. Number eight. What's not working? Reflection. Why is it not working? Number nine. What can I say? What can I write? And or what can I do to coach myself? That falls under self-talk. And number 10. It's a self-directed goal affirmation, which is the recaps of the goals, the steps, and success. Okay. So let me explain the Uber categories. Um, we've got self-directed goal, self-directed goal and vision, explicit instructions, commitment and schedule, affirmation, reflection and measurement, reflection, reflection, self-talk, self-directed goal, affirmation. Those are really the important components. You miss one of those and you kind of will see you're not exactly meeting your goals. Stick to it. Become religious about these steps and you will always have more success. So let's talk about number one, self-directed goal, write the goal. Very simply, what is it you want to do? Example, I will increase my recall of words, okay? Number two, define success. When I use my mindfulness breathing and relax with positive self-talk, I am able to better recall words. I'm giving you some super simple, this, you know, this is, goes much deeper, but I'm just doing an overview here. Number three, what are the steps to do the mindfulness and the positive self-talk. A, the um, deep belly press. B, the slow one, two, three, four, inhale, exhale. And C, positive self-talk. I can relax or 
when I relax, I recall better. Number four, frequency and time. I will practice belly breathing every day, seven days a week for 10 minutes. So I got the how long in there, I got the number of days, not much padding there, because if you miss a day, uh, there's not an extra day, but probably you could do twice a day if you want to. And that's under, by the way, commitment and schedule. Number five, when I do this, I feel. So this is an affirmation, and you really want to, even if you're kind of don't believe in this stuff, you want to just trust it and try it. I ask you to try it for six months so that you really get into the habit of doing this. And if you can say to yourself, when I do this, I feel like I'm in control of finding the words I'm searching for, or when I do this, I feel relaxed. Those are really good things to help you in this process. Number six, how did I do? This week, I only did the exercise four times. This week, I was not very kind to myself when I didn't find the word I was looking for and I felt an increase in heat in my face and thus embarrassment. So really important to understand how ending on a positive, how did I do? I did five times this week and last week I just started. So this is pretty good. I definitely did five times and feel good about the practice. Number seven, what could I do better next time? I can add a day starting right now so that I improve my goal-directed behavior. What's not working? Ah, the time of day. I missed two days because it was the weekend and unfortunately the time during the day uh, on Saturday didn't work and the time on Sunday didn't work. Number nine, what can I say, write, do to coach myself? I can tell myself to make sure and set an alarm on Friday once I know my weekend plans and make sure I put on my calendar and in my alarm what time I have to spare 10 or 15 minutes where I'm super comfortable and not rushed. Number 10, recap. Self-directed goal affirmation. Goals, relax during word finding moments. Practice my mindfulness. Steps, 10 minutes every day for six days a week. Five days a week at this time. Saturday and Sunday TBD. Success, I will feel great because I'm starting to learn how to relax, which eventually will aid my word finding struggles. Okay, remember me until next time. This is Jen Bulka, Memory Specialist in Silicon Valley at mymemorypal.com.